Despite repeated reassurance from doctors and healthcare officials, many are still unsure about getting the vaccine. As KATV News Watch Evans Waverly Monroe reports, side effects are just some of the reasons for waiting. Some of the reasons people told me they weren't going to get the COVID-19 vaccine span from lack of transportation to being fearful of potential symptoms. More than 35% of people 16 and older are now fully vaccinated in Douglas County, but some are leaning against the shot like Daryl Stewart. I'm just kind of waiting to see. I'm glad I did because uh, there was one shot that I really was interested in was a Johnson and Johnson. And now to see it fall back like that, just take time, man. He says he wears a mask when needed, but as of right now, he's not getting the vaccine. I'm qualified to go get vaccinated. If I felt like I needed to, I can, but right now, if everybody else is getting vaccinated, that's better for me as well. Same goes for Lakeisha Ritchie. I really don't want to get it, and I think I'm going to wait a while until <laughs> I have to get it. But her mom, Thelma Waller, already feels like she's immune to the virus after a coronavirus diagnosis back in June. I feel like I'm still a little safe. Doctors say that immunity could be short-lived, and Waller says she's not opposed to getting the vaccine. She just wants it to be more accessible. There's not enough um, places to go on the north side. You know, and everybody don't want to stand in a huge long line. So they'd have to they'd have to have opening more openings. I'm waiting for it to come closer to me. I mean, I trust the guys right here on 24th and Benny. Anthony Stark says he'll get the shot once Heart Ministry Center has doses. But for now, he's holding off. A lot of people uh, are in my predicament, so um, they're saying the same thing. And if you are looking to get vaccinated, head to the Douglas County Health Department's website and you can sign up for an appointment there. Waverly Monroe, KETV News Watch 7.